guys going on? Mike the Caveman Q and your guest, Paleofarm Long Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, should you be taking Garcinia Cambogia? Oh boy. I mean, I know yesterday's video was a little bit out there, but at least that one warrants a little bit more research. There just simply hasn't been enough done yet. This one takes the cuckoo cake. Now I know what you're thinking, but I heard it from the wonderful wizard. But despite what the great and powerful Oz may have told you, you're better off taking the advice of public enemy and don't, 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 don't believe the hype. That's right, apparently rap icons are better at dispensing medical advice than health celebrities. In fact, one of the studies he cited was retracted, an incredibly rare occurrence, by the authors because they were unable to ensure its validity. Similar to his recommendation for raspberry ketones, which is a whole nother issue, but on a side note, should never be confused with the ketogenic diet or exogenous ketones, but the science just isn't there for it. But let's dive a little bit into what they're actually trying to claim. The presumed active ingredient in Garcinia cambogia is hydroxycitric acid, which is a derivative of citric acid, most commonly known to be found in citrus fruits. Crazy, I know. But it is also a major component of the Krebs cycle, which is also known as the, wait for it, citric acid cycle, which you can see in an oversimplified version of here. This process runs almost exclusively clockwise. However, there is an enzyme called ATP citrate lyase, which can convert citrate back to oxaloacetate and acetyl-CoA. This process can be activated by insulin and is essential in lipogenesis and cholesterogenesis, or the production of new fatty acids. Interestingly, in vitro research has indicated that hydroxycitric acid can be an inhibitor on that enzyme. As such, the thought is that by taking it, we'll be able to minimize the production of new body fat. Unfortunately, while this all sounds great in theory, there has been a real lack of data of it actually doing anything in humans. That being said, if you find yourself in Indonesia and want to try the actual fruit, or you find yourself in southern Thailand and you want to try some Kang Sum soup, then sure, go ahead, have some Garcinia Cambogia. But if you're looking for it to be the magic solution to your weight loss issues, try again. So your biggest takeaways for today are that you should probably pay no attention to the man behind the curtain and you shouldn't really believe the hype when it comes to things like Garcinia Cambogia. If you actually want to burn fat, I'm going to introduce you to a super crazy concept. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Eat. Real. Food. I know. And that's about all I really have to say about that. I've badged you enough on that concept. But if you want some more information on how to actually do that, be sure to check out this video here on how to lose weight. And if you want some more information on the mindset that precedes people searching out for things like Garcinia Cambogia, make sure to check out this video here on how long does it take to get healthy. And if you want some more information on other concepts that may not be the magic bullet everyone claims them to be, take a look at this video here on Is Shakeology Really Healthy? But Either way, hopefully that helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman or on Facebook at Paleo Palm Long Island and of course over on MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Stop looking for the magic pill. Go eat some real foods and I'll see you tomorrow.